this video, we will walk through how to create an assignment. So to create an assignment in Canvas, you'll follow similar steps to creating a discussion. So I'll go into my course. Now remember, I could create a brand new one right here in assignment that I had earlier, but I already started an assignment earlier. So I'm going to go back in. I'm going to hit the edit button and this is where you can post what you would like to. So I've typed in that I want uh, for this particular assignment to upload a document for this training purposes that you wouldn't mind other people, uh, faculty viewing. So I'm going to pretend that this assignment is worth 100 points. I'm going to keep it in that assignments category for now. It's going to be assigned as points now uh, because this is a, and I want it to count towards the final grade. Uh, so uh, because I am wanting students to submit it online, I'm going to select online. But you can see there are other options where um, if we were meeting face to face, you could do on paper or you could do external tool where it's like a Google Doc submission as well. Uh, so I'm going to do online and I'm going to allow opportunity for a file upload. You can restrict that file upload. So I usually do a doc or a docs X or a PDF. Um, and because uh, these are for faculty to uh, just submit something. I'm just going to select all of them for now, but you can restrict what you allow students to enter. You can also do a plagiarism review uh, where you can have turn it in, where you can see what how students um, and are doing in terms of plagiarism. And so there are some sources that you can uh, select there if you would want, and you can show the a report immediately. We'll do another video about uh, Turnitin, um, but for now, um, this is not a group assignment. This is an individual assignment, and I am not requiring peer review. So I'm going to make sure that this assignment is due on, let's say, Thursday the 26th at midnight, and it's available. Uh, you could do it where it's, it only pops up and is available at certain times. I also want to do where um, for this particular one, let's just say that Emily Medlock has some extended time and I've agreed that, okay, it's the 26th. So I'm going to give her another week um, and I'm not going to make it due until the, the second for her. All right, and so now my assignment, and it's you can see it's published. If I didn't want students to see it, I can do unpublish at the time. Uh, you can also add rubrics. So um, the first time that you add a rubric, you'll need to, uh, I would recommend copying and pasting it from a Word document or Google Doc. Always start with your highest rankings here and then go lower. Um, I am going to go ahead and choose a a rubric that I already have. I'm going to use this rubric. Um, this is something that I use for College of Education courses. So that works for me. Um, I did notice that um, I did not check I uh, use this rubric for assignment grading. So you need to make sure that you do that as well. We'll do a separate uh, video for rubric. So update it. All right, so my assignment should be ready to go when I go back to my modules. I have it right there ready to go and you'll see there's multiple due dates because um, all the students except for one have um, extra time. So uh, this is a video on how to create an assignment, whether it's a paper or project or presentation that you want students to upload. If you have any questions, let us know.